and we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 Minutes Code Channel where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and kicks for gigs within less than 5 minutes. So without wasting time, let's get started. So today's element problem of the day is two smallest in every subarray, which is an easy level problem. But I think it's a bit on medium side because it's a bit tricky to understand. But uh, yeah, let's see what we will be given to this problem and what we have to do. So we will be simply given one array which can be of any length. So it will be of length greater than or equal to 10 to the power 5. And its element will be also lying between this. Okay, now what we have to do. Very, very simple. What we have to do, we have to return the sum of the smallest and second smallest element. And we have to return the maximum sum. Like find all the combination, all the subarray sums and uh, return the maximum sum. Okay, so max subarray sum not. All the subarrays we have to consider in which we have to find the sum of the smallest and second smallest element and uh, the answer should be maximum. Okay, so if we will given see this test case, then the solution will be more clear. So if I will take like one element subarray, it's not, it's like no use. So I will skip that because if it is one, so I will simply return minus one. Okay, because second is smallest and the smallest, it need two elements at least. Okay, I will first of all go to four, three. So the smallest is not three and second is smallest is four. So sum is seven. And if I will take four, three, one, okay, four, three, one, look, very carefully so here is smallest to be one second smallest to be three so total sum is four you have to find like uh, all the sub arrays and uh, you have to find the smallest and second smallest element. okay i think the problem statement is now clear it's a bit tricky so that's why i'm explaining it again okay so yeah you have to return the maximum sum like all these uh, sums are uh, like the possible combination of sub arrays and they are smallest and second smallest elements and uh, uh, yeah so we have to return the maximum sum maximum sum is 11 okay all right now you will be thinking i will do a brute force i will consider all the sub arrays and then get the solution and get the answer yeah but it is 10 raised to the power 5 so we cannot consider any square we cannot take any square time complexity in fact we can do it in big o of one time complexity big o of one space and big o of n time complexity okay so yeah let's see how we can do this very very easy look if we have to get the maximum of smallest and sub smallest we have to only consider two elements sub array Okay, we have to only consider two elements somewhere. Why? Let's see. So here you can see one, five, six. If look, my answer will be five, six because it is the maximum. But if at any point I will consider one, five, six, three, one, five, six, four, three, one, five, six, there you can see that if I'm taking at any point more than two elements, more than two elements, let's say three elements, if I'm taking at any point, our sum will not be maximum in that case. Why? Because let's say I have elements one, three, two, or anything. One, three, two. Okay, now see if I will take any three elements of array 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 1. In that case, our smallest and second smallest sum will be 3 because 1 and 2. Here it will be 1 and 3, here it will be 1 and 2, which is not maximum. I have to only take two two elements of array and uh, like, uh, compare with the maximum and at last return the maximum of them. So we have to only consider two elements of array. I think that's also clear to you all. So yeah, I think now you can write the code very easy it is, but uh, let's see how I go to write it. Very simple, I will take int max equal to 0. And first of all, I will check if arr dot length is uh, less than two. So we will simply return minus one. I will be making this as small. And otherwise, what I will do for int i equal to zero, i is less than arr dot length minus one i plus plus max is equal to math dot max of max comma arr of i plus arr of i plus one. Simply I return the answer max. Okay, so yeah, I think this should compile and run successfully. Let's see. Okay, so I'm submitted. I'm going to submit it. So if you have loved the solution, if you have loved how I'm explaining the problem, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. And yeah, I've got my gig bit. I solved it for the first time, I guess. Yeah, fun time, first time. Only. So please subscribe the channel. Please like the video, comment, and uh, I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Till then, keep on coding and bye.